Hello, Kerry here. Today I'm going to be uh, packing up some pieces to send to my partner in the in 49 Dragonflies uh, Snail Mail Collage Challenge. And here are the pieces I'm sending to one of my partners. I've actually got two. Uh, this is the background papers I thought would be quite nice. The uh, peacock feather colour things. Not that side, that's too busy. It goes beautifully with, the I think, the main focal point, this lady. And I've also included some very old uh, writing from the uh, 1920s. Uh, gosh, 100 years old. And a piece of music paper. And to finish off an embellishment, some of my snippet roll. So that's one, two, three four five items and that's what we're meant to send five items to our partner and they can then make a collage with it which they get to keep so i'm going to parcel those up but i'm also going to send elaine elaine is chatty lane and i'll put a link to her video down below um, i'm going to be sending some fun things as well this is for a laugh because we both have the same napkin paper so i thought it'd be fun to send her that um and i've put it in a faux glassine envelope which you can either keep uh, the atc in or uh, reuse in some other project they make nice pockets in journals actually a little tag from a flow magazine that i was given and i made a snippet pad and i've also collected some postage stamps some pages from the home dressmaking book and this is from an encyclopedia i think that's a nice picture on the front and she might be able to use some of the writing as well so i'm going to parcel all those up I've also included a large piece of snippet roll, which I'm going to, because we're having problems with the post at the moment, uh, a lot of us, many of us are sheltering or have people in the home we're sheltering. So we're not going to the post office if we can possibly avoid it. So the aim here is to be able to put everything into a normal sized envelope with a normal stamp and pop it into a post box nearby and avoid the post office queues entirely. So instead of wrapping the snippet roll around something fancy like a bobbin, or I like to use a, a stick from the garden. I know that seems silly, but it looks really good. Um, I'm going to wrap it around a piece of card. So I'm just cutting up roughly an ATC size piece of card here, which uh, Elaine can then either use uh, for something else or um, cut it up and use it in something. I don't know. It's up to her. <laughs> So I'm just going to wrap it round. Oh, get rid of that bit of paper. I don't know what that's there for. <laughs> it's just a nice way to present it, actually. And there, I love making snippet roll. It's one of my favourite things to do. And those little snippet pads. If you want to have a look how to do them, I'll put a little information thing up at the top and uh, you can click on that to have a look. <laughs> and right, now I've got to figure out how I'm going to put it all together. I think... What I'm going to do, because I've got to fit it all in, in a normal sized envelope, so I'm going to shrink things down and I'm going to make an envelope. So I'll be back in a second with it all sorted out, nearly. Here we are. So that's the stuff for the collage. And I've got a little tag, which I've written on the back, that this is for the collage. I like the green of the whole reinforcer, it matches the paper. She'd probably use that if she wants as well. <laughs> and then I'm going to make an envelope. That's the next stage. So I've got my envelope maker and I'm just scoring the lines on a sheet of, it's um, a 12 by 12 sheet. The largest the envelope maker accommodates is 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So I've cut it down to that size. I'm just scoring the marks and punching the um, little, little um, V-shaped marks. It's a great little tool, actually. I haven't used it for ages. I had to keep reading the instructions to check I was doing it right. And then it's got the um, corner rounder on the end as well. So there it is. I've got a lovely envelope made. So I'm going to glue down the bits. And then um, just to reinforce it, I'm going to sew around the edges. Because there was a slight bit of tearing as I was doing the scoring. The paper isn't that strong. So I'm doing just gluing it down. And now I'm popping, I've sewn all around that and I've put a label on that saying this is just for fun, not for the swap. So I'm going to pop that inside. I've got to try and put it inside in such a way that I don't get it all caught when I sew around the edges of the actual envelope. So that's central. And now I'm going to pop the other little, um, the actual collage pieces in as well. I need a paper clip for that, don't I? Here we go. 
that's perfect and I've got to put that central as well so it doesn't get all tangled up in the sewing So I'm going to glue that down now. It's ages since I've done a swap like this. It's such fun. What a great idea. Barbara from 49 Dragonflies had. There we go. Now I'm going to go away to the sewing machine and I'll come back with it all ready and done. <laughs> Here it is, all sewn up. So I just need to write the... Um, I'm going to put my return address on, write Elaine's address on, and I'm going to write hashtag 49 stay at home collaging on it as well. Anyway, let me know if you're taking part. I'd like to hear. And if you have any videos, show me. Thanks for watching. Bye.